A key point here is the majority of people who are trading, so are betting, are losing. Um, they read the books, they use common analysis techniques such as Bollinger Bands, um, statistics, RSI. So if all these people are losing and they're using these common indicators, you know, for me, I don't really want to be, you know, basing my trades on them. I do use them on a very, very small time frame. So if I have my trade set up, I've got my system as the core saying, right, the, the market's going to do this. I have my analysis technique saying it's going to do that as well. I might use, I might go right down and use a, a trading oscillator or an indicator to, to actually get in um, or get out. Um, I still use RSI, uh, but only for exiting, exiting a trade. I'm a short-term trader, day trader, so uh, if I get into a trade and I see price the RSI move below uh, 70, um, sorry, above 70 to say uh, 85, 90, or likewise if it moves below 30 to about 15, then I'll, I'll trim profits, take some half profits anyway. Um, but as we know of RSA, the, the, the downfall is that it's great in a, tr in, a, in, a, in a market which is going up and down, but in a trending market, um, you, know, you can lose everything. When I, when I first started trading, um, <coughs> in my early days, I, I used to use RSI. I used to trade when the RSI was very low or trade when it was very high. I would then place a trade long or short, and then I would average into them. Uh, don't recommend anyone does this because I made a lot of money, but then I was wiped out. 